Okay, in this video I'm going to explain um, subtraction using the compact method. All right, I'm going to uh, pick one of uh, two of these uh, numbers for the first question, and then the other two I'll pick for the second question. Okay, so if I pick this number and this number, the first thing I need to do is decide which one is going to go on top and which one is going to go on the bottom. And I do that by looking at the hundreds digit here and here. I can see that 6 is less than 9. That means that this number, 987, is going to go on top. Okay, so 987, subtract 643. So again, I have units, tens, hundreds. Okay, so uh, 7 subtract 3 is 4. 8 subtract, sorry, 80 subtract 40 is 40. And 900 subtract 600 is 300. Okay. Now, in order to check my work, I can just add these two numbers together here. And I should get 987 as an answer. So if I go 643 plus 344, that should give me 987. Okay, so let's just work it out. 3 and 4 is 7. 40 and 40 is 80. And 600 and 300 is 900. So 987, that's what I should have. So my working out is correct. Okay, that's that one. So now uh, we'll try the next pair of numbers, which is 876 and 357. Okay, now I have to decide which of those two numbers is going to go on top. Again, I'm looking at the hundreds digit there and there. Here I've got 300, here I've got 800. Well, clearly 800 is more than 300, so this number, 876, is going to go on top. So 876, subtract 357. Okay, now I'm looking at the units. Okay, just write in the headings here, units, tens, hundreds. Okay, so uh, 6 subtract 7, obviously I can't do that, so I have to borrow from the tens column, and this becomes a 6, and this becomes 16. Okay, so that 16 subtract 7 gives me 9, okay, and 60 subtract 50 is 10. 800 subtract 300 is 500. Okay, and again, I would just add these two numbers together, and I should get 876 as my final answer. Okay, now, um, unfortunately, hold on, Unfortunately, this didn't come out really well here. This this is a one and then a six, and the six is here. Okay, so it does it doesn't look very clear here. I'm afraid because I didn't leave enough room between the digits. But that should be a one and then a six here. Okay, so that's where I got the sixteen from. Okay, well I hope that's not too confusing for you, and I hope that's been a, a help. Good luck.